What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marina. Got another treasure hunt coming to you. This is our second treasure hunt of the day and we're here at another local access and as you can tell, it is booming. There's a lot of people, they've got some type of kayaking event going on, but we gotta be careful, make sure we don't get up underneath the boats. We do got our dive flag up, which is good, but we're gonna hit this access real quick, finish out the day. Hopefully we'll come up some good items. So come along with us, we'll see what we find.
All right guys, so we just got finished up and if you can't tell, we're at a different location for the outro part of this video. Unfortunately, we got asked not so nicely to leave the area. Um, I wanna make a quick note here. Anytime you're diving in public waters that is open for boating purposes, you are required, at least here in the state of North Carolina, and as far as I'm aware of, every state in the union, you have to fly a dive flag. Now, that dive flag basically states that you're underwater and that boats, if it's a public area or, or water is open for boating purposes, boats must stay away at least 50 feet from that dive flag. And that may vary state to state, but here in North Carolina, that is the current statute that boats have to stay away 50 feet. Now, if the boat is already there, unfortunately, you can't force them to leave just by throwing up a dive flag. That's also illegal here in North Carolina. But if a boat leaves, you throw up a dive flag, if they come back in, they have to stay 50 feet away. Now, there is an exception to that rule. If you are blocking reasonable navigation of that boat to go, say, from a dock to a gas dock, a marina, something like that, then they are allowed to come within 50 feet. However, water is public, or at least this water is, and we have just as much legal right to be here as a boater does, as a fisherman does, or someone who's just swimming. Now, the event that was going on that we didn't, we knew there were a lot of people there, but we weren't sure what the event was. As we got a little closer, they tend to, they, they got really upset with us and asked us to leave. Um, instead of sitting there and trying to school them and explaining to them, we have as much legal right as you do. As divers, we want to be just as respectful as anybody else. So, you know, out of respect for them, we chose to go ahead aboard our dive. We did come up with quite a few stuff, which I'm going to show you, but we decided instead of making divers look bad and sitting there arguing and, and basically schooling them with their ignorance of the law, we just decided to leave and let them have a good time. We can always come back out here. We've got cold water suits. We can come out here in the winter time and do this. So it was just easier for us just to say, okay, we're sorry and we just left the area. With that being said, let's look at some of the stuff we did find. I got two decent anchors here. We got another prop here. We got several different pairs of sunglasses. Uh, most of them are pretty cheap. We did find one pair of Oakleys. Unfortunately, they're broke. The arms are broke off of them. Uh, several different cell phones. I've already checked these. They all have memory cards in them, so we'll pull them here in a little bit, see what's on them. Uh, got a little cigarette case. We did find a toolbox here, and we actually hadn't got much time to go through it, but it, it's pretty heavy, and I've already poured most of the water out, so it seems to be several good tools in there. Some of them are rusted up, but we can throw them in a ultrasonic cleaner, get them cleaned up. Got a brand new roll of electrical tape here, and several different pairs of pliers, a bunch of open-end wrenches. Uh, here's another boat plug, drain plug. So we've got quite a few tools here that will get cleaned up. This is probably going to be the toolbox we leave here on our boat. So, uh, yeah, all in all, even though it was a short dive and, and we had a little run-in with some other people that, like I said, they, they wasn't happy with us. But, you know, unfortunately, we do have a legal right to be there. But instead of arguing, we decided to leave the area. But, yeah, all in all, really good dive. If you got any comments on that or if you're a diver and you've ever been asked to leave an area where you are flying a legal dive flag, tell me about your story down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your story. But, guys, if you like this video, smash the like button for me. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, share this video with your friends, especially if you're a diver, uh, and, and ask them about their stories. Like I said, I'd really like to hear some of your stories as far as have you ever been asked to leave an area where you're legally at. So guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.